We had a beautiful black and white Cocker Spaniel called Crescent. And we, had, we got her in 2008. She was six weeks old and she just became part of the family. She grew up with the kids. Our kids don't even remember life without her. There was no boundary. She was just part of our family. You know, she didn't know she was a dog. <laughs> she was um, just wonderful. Sadly, we lost her, you know. She got very sick very quick and, you know, they become such a big part of your life. I think they possibly mean more to you than most people do. I was on the internet checking out dog breeders for Cocker Spaniels to see, you know, just what the process would be. And out of the blue, there was a thing, Cocker Spaniel Rescue, one mile away, and it was amazing. I said, I'll check it out. So I saw her, I seen there was a lot of, Issues with Maisie, she's old, she's going to lose an eye, she had 10 teeth taken out, she was on medication, she had skin problems, there's so many things that would put you off fostering her or even adopting her. But, uh, you know, I, I thought she was a sweetheart, I let my wife and my daughter go and see what they think, and they, they've come straight back with her, so, <laughs> so that, that was it, you know. I never like thought we would get a dog so soon after Cressy died, but I'm glad that we did. I mean, it helps and they're just always happy and they love you no matter what, so. Like I say with Maisie, I'm not sure who rescued who, you know, um, because we needed her every bit as much as she needed us. So the hunters came in and they were able to overlook the fact that Maisie was 12. They were able to just see that she was so sweet and ready for her next chapter in life and take her home and integrate her into a nice family uh, where she can live out her golden years. So we're really thankful for um, Nantucket families who can come in and adopt a senior pet. It's such a selfless thing to do and, and the senior pet gives back tenfold. But it's hard a lot of times to find a home for a senior pet because it's hard to ask somebody to take on that financial responsibility. So what we'll do is uh, we have a FOSPIS program and that means the animal can go into a loving home and be fostered for the rest of its life, um, but NISHA incurs the cost of those medications so that the animal will stay healthy there. Um, and it's a really a win-win, so the animal doesn't have to stay for the last moments of its life in a cage and the shelter, they're actually in a nice home. So the hunters, after falling in love with Maisie, actually learned that we had another Cocker Spaniel in our mix, Bonnie, was one of our little mountain rescue dogs. She came up from Mississippi, and I don't think that people quite understand that we actually can get purebred dogs in shelters all over the country. And so it is a bit rare that we have a Cocker Spaniel, but this seems like a perfect match to take home another one, a lovely two-year-old, and completing their family of five. It was tough because I've never dealt with like a death of something so close to me at such like a young age. But it just made me realize like how much happiness dogs bring you. So that's why we have two dogs now because we love them and they just make you so happy. Nothing will ever replace the dog that they lost, but they have really helped heal our hearts and our family. And for that, I would be for ever grateful Denisha and it's not even worth thinking about not having them on the island. This was just meant to be, you know, but God works in mysterious ways, you know, and as I say we lost, we lost my dog but look at what we've got now so we're lucky, you're very lucky. I'm grateful for Nisha. I'm sure they don't even realize half the time like how big of an impact they're making on other people's lives, but it definitely made a big one on my life with Bonnie and Lindsay. After like this experience, I don't think when I'm older I would ever like buy a dog. I'd always rescue one because there's so many out there and they can help you. 
I think the Hunter family is a wonderful example of how we can do new beginnings. When you lose a pet, it's heart-wrenching. So to be able to give the Hunters not one but two second chances for love and happiness in their home with their daughter is just so heartwarming.